Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all my long-term subscribers and all my new uh, subscribers. I'm very glad you're joining me today and I want to continue uh, to make two pages in my uh, patchwork journal. Um, these are the pages I chose and uh, if you follow me you know I like to make uh, pages. If I did a guest design team project, I want to document that uh, project in my personal journal. So this will be um, for the Carmela journal. You recognize the, if you followed along, you recognize the papers. I chose some items I want to use. And sometimes I copy uh, something I did in the journal. The journal is already on its way to a loving home in the US. I'm very happy. Uh, she really loves my journals. And yeah, it couldn't make me happier if I, yeah, I'm, every journal I make, I, I love making it. And so if there is somebody out there in this world that loves it just as much as I do, I couldn't be happier. So this is a bit of a repeat. So I did some preparing, but all kinds of stuff came in between and I didn't uh, finish it until now because uh, this we are going to decorate uh, together. But I always like uh, that I have a, a bit, an extra remembrance of uh, the journals uh, I have sold. And um, yeah, a, a friend uh, asked me if, uh, if I didn't have any trouble uh, selling the journals. Yeah, and I don't. I, I have a lot of pictures of all the journals I made until now. And um, also I have the YouTube uh, films. Yeah, I love making these videos. So it's an ideal way to, um, to document them. And I can always watch them back and see the pictures. But yeah, I've made quite a few uh, until now. And yeah, you, you can't keep them because I make also make journals for myself to uh, to work in. This uh, yeah, this I bought. Some sometimes I buy a, a journal when I don't really like it uh, from a designer, and uh, yeah, it would be way too much. And I did uh, a couple of times I did a swap, so yeah, it's it's too much, but. I'm, I'm fine with it. Until now, I still have uh, two journals uh, that in a way I made to, uh, to sell, but um, they were from pretty recent. One, one journal is from uh, my early days, not recent, uh, from my early days. And then I didn't have that much followers. I think if I would post it now, it would sell, <laughs> but now I don't want to anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, I started out with um, nature themed, so it's a blue butterfly uh, journal. And yeah, it's a bit of nostalgia that, uh, that I want to keep it. And I still have the travel journal and yeah, that I'm thinking about to uh, post it again if uh, someone is interested, but I'm not sure yet. And then of course my uh, my personal journals, but yeah, they are, that's different because they're completely filled with my journaling and uh, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't sell those, of course. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fine with it. It's a nice feeling that there are people out there that, uh, that love the journals and uh, yeah, use them to really use them or just for inspiration. Both options are fine because, yeah, it's a personal choice what you want a journal for. And uh, I'm not pretty sure the journals I bought until now. That's, uh, I think, three I bought. And um, this one I was sure 
and I got I because it's uh, I I bought it um, naked, and uh, Kylie from Paper Days Journal added uh, some ephemera loose and some uh, laces to be used in the journal, so that there was a yeah kind of an ephemera pack or a stash pack with it. So yeah, this you saw. So I, I knew right away I wanted to work in this journal, but the other ones I'm not sure yet. Sometimes it's nice to just keep them, uh, yeah, to look at. Yeah, yeah, you saw me do this in the, in the Carmela journal, but yeah, I loved it so, so much. So now we're going to work on this page. I'm going to put this and maybe the brown one. Yeah, I'm gluing on that now. I wasn't sure if I would have time to uh, to make another video because uh, in a week we're uh, off on holiday, and I've been yeah quite busy with all kinds of things. I had to make some things for the trailer tent and. Yeah, the last week before you go, mostly uh, I it's it's a busy time for me. I want to clean and uh, do some extra stuff so the house is fresh when uh, when we get home again. And yeah, so I didn't uh, make any videos. This is three times the charm. The first time I printed it. It was a bit too small because I wanted it page filling, so I forgot to enlarge it. Then <clears throat> I was tearing and fussy cutting and I extended it here. I really love that, but my idea was to leave it because this will be a pocket. But I can always use these in other projects because I really love this. Uh, that's why I chose these pages in particular for my own journal. Uh, now you saw <coughs> how the original is, and I thought I'm going to tear a piece. Yeah, this I cut because I wanted the oval uh, a bit straight, so it's a little sliver a bit straight. <coughs> but this will be a pocket, so I can uh, tuck some things in. Maybe I'll just glue it until here, so I have a bit more room to tuck something in. So uh, this will be completely glued down, and this will glue be glued on three sides. So let's do that first. So yeah, with uh, all my cleaning, uh, I uh, injured my back. I always... Uh, I, I can't even remember when I didn't have uh, back pains, but uh, since I have the arthros or arthritis, I don't know exactly what you call it in uh, in English. Or, but um, since then, and especially because I have it in my knees, I can't uh, bend like it would be best for your back. And oh, now I did some glue here, so I have more trouble with my uh, with my back since I have that. And uh, let's see what I did it a bit the way I want this. I'm always staying oh, shy a bit. I don't know if the camera picks it up just a bit from the um, the spine. So the pages won't get uh, get caught, so it will uh, open and close fine. See, just a bit. Yeah, so uh, I did too much uh, cleaning, too too heavy, and uh, now my back is completely locked. It hurts a lot. I had a lot of painkillers the last two days, and uh, it started like. I just had a, a muscle ache from, yeah, from the cleaning and uh, because it was too much. I normally do everything in, in bits so my body can handle it. 
And uh, no, I didn't because I had the feeling I had to get a lot done. Yeah, that's stupid, of course. That never works. So, uh, later today I have uh, physical therapy. Luckily, they, uh, they had time today. Uh, let's see if I can pick that up a bit again. Yeah. So I left this a bit open, so I have a bit more room to... Uh, but I, I didn't want to lose too much of the frame. I really love it. These are my two favorite uh, pages of the Carmella kit. And then I was thinking, here, to make a pocket out of this. It's, it's also from a different uh, paper, but I also liked the, yeah, the doily kind uh, of design. It has to be this way. Hmm. Yeah, it's maybe better because the brown is on the bottom, but I liked this because it's peeking out. It doesn't matter. Let's see. And that is peeking out. No, I think I'll leave it the way it's supposed to be. So this will be a small pocket. Then I can tuck something extra in. And here I can do uh, journaling. So also glue on three sides. And um, yeah, today's Friday and uh, last Sunday we, uh, my husband and I took uh, my daughter and son-in-law and the children to the airport in, uh, in Belgium. So they uh, arrived well in, uh, in Lombok where Prema is, uh, is born. And uh, they are spending time with the, with the family and uh, having their holiday. So, and the trip went very well because every time I went with my daughter or alone, I always had delays. Oh, it was so annoying. And last Sunday, again, we arrived at the airport, just, just arrived. <laughs> And um, she got a text, the first delay, but it was, yeah, fine. There was time for the <coughs> connecting flight, so, but even before they uh, really had to fly, the second delay came over it, but, yeah, they said they, the connecting flight would wait, so, and luckily they made it so they could uh, travel uh, in one term and they arrived uh, at Bali and they stayed the night there and the next day they took the boat to uh, to Lombok because the airplane fares are so idiotic it's so much money that uh, they decided we take the boat and uh, that only cost uh, about five euros uh, per person and the uh, flight tickets were about 100 or more per person just one way so yeah and the tickets from the netherlands to uh, to bali were extreme so yeah, it's really too bad but they are there now and they can enjoy their holiday this is one tag. There were four tags in the in the kit. I took two. There are three small ones and one big one. And these, yeah, I really like. I really like it with this design. Uh, this I cut shorter because I want them both in the pocket, and then I don't have to worry about the height. And this, I really have to say, it looks great. Like, yeah, the small. It's perfect. It doesn't need much. I took a, oh, a label, it's not from the kit, it's, uh, I'll link it down below, uh, who's it from, because I'm at the moment not in my head, but I really like these, I have them in beige and in pink, 
and it's a yeah, complete variety of all kinds of labels. I really like them. So I just wanted to do this to it. Maybe uh, some, uh, some lace on there. And that will just be peeking out. Of course, I also don't want to create too much bulk. I think this is a sticker, but every time I use these, I have a really hard time getting the backing off, just like now. So I'm going to leave it on there and put the glue on. <laughs> And there are some marks on there. I don't know exactly where they came from, but that doesn't matter because the butterfly is going over it. Some glue on my mat. So, yeah, probably after this video, I'll be uh, uh, offline for a couple of weeks because we are always uh, very busy. Uh, we like to do a lot of things on our holiday and uh, I'm just going to take a nice break because uh, yeah it's been uh, quite some some years I had personally and uh, yeah, a bit of time off, uh, a little break is uh, never a bad thing. Oh yeah, this, these, but I showed that in the Carmela, when I was making the Carmela journal. Um, when they were on one A4, I backed it with all kinds of papers and then I cut the tags. So I can journal uh, on the back. Put some butterflies on here. Let's Pick the fine tip glue. And I have to watch the time a bit because uh, I have to go to the therapy. And I hope you can really uh, loosen my, my back because I have slept really bad the last two nights because lying down wasn't... Uh, oh, maybe some cheesecloth. I like the pink here also, just a bit, a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just going to cut a piece off and if I don't like it, I can always use it somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Let's see, I like the pink. Yeah, I do. Now I have normal glue on here, so I think I'll put some like glitter glue here. And like I always say, I don't want to glue everything completely down. So if it stays, it's enough. Oh. And maybe some bling. Ah. Now I didn't use it for a little while and uh, then it, uh, it clogs up and uh, the glue turns uh, yeah, very dark. Ah, it's okay now. Let's spread it a bit. Oh, I can't tell you enough how much I'm looking forward to the holiday. And my, uh, my niece is in Italy uh, at this moment, and yeah, they always go to Italy, just like we always go to France. And uh, I asked her if she would be on the look uh, lookout for uh, some Italian books. And uh, she already found one small one, just uh, the colored paper and yeah, the brownish paper. Not the, the really old font, but uh, the discoloring of the paper. And yeah, of course, the, the text is in Italian, so it's always nice to have, uh, have such a little book. So, and maybe she finds more. I really hope so. 
two very cute quick tags. I think I'll uh, put some lace on there because I have to be careful now because of the the lace and the butterfly. Ah, and this is coming on the top. Ooh, I really have to be careful to put them in. But when the the journaling is done, ah, yeah, this butterfly. Because if I do it like this, there's no use at all. Oh, you can't see the butterflies. Hmm. Not happy with that. I didn't. I thought I uh, really thought about it. Of course, this is what I had in mind. Maybe a bit like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. The butterfly is just peeking out. And here, because I loved the way um, my... Um, I didn't ink this. I just want to ink it a bit. The cover of the Carmella journal I really loved the way it turned out. I'm not going to copy it completely, but yeah, in a way a lot. Because I loved this blue. It goes so very well with this kit. And it's scrapbook paper. I still have to uh, go through my paper pads if uh, from which pad it came. And uh, if I have some more. But you never know. Some I have four blocks. Paper pads. And uh, some I only have one. So... This I wanted here, and picture, and I just want this peeking out a bit, so I'm going to distress it a bit with my nails. It's just a piece I had left like this, and I saw a uh, a video of uh, Odolcina Scrap Anne and uh, she did that with the scissors and then when you're cutting you just uh, tear at the fabric a bit and it makes it a bit raggedy because not all laces uh, tear very well and uh, have them a beautiful uh, edging and I thought that was a very great idea of hers. First, I'm going to uh, put the glue on this. Back to the side. My, oh, close this. And um, yeah, this is then for the, the new subscribers. Um, I always use the wet glue uh, for embossing paper because it uh, really goes in the embossing. That. And I want the picture a bit. Ah, it's too soon. I have to uh, let it set, but I don't, I haven't put the glue uh, on on the real sides, so It'll be fine. I can uh, roughen it up a bit later. This is going to peek out, but I'm fine with that because, yeah, it will just be okay. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to put some. If that will stick, textile glue. Let's see how far. It doesn't have to stick down completely, just a bit. There will be something over it, of course. I want it peeking out on the top and on the bottom. And then just a bit here. Let's see. Now I can stretch it. Yeah, just a bit. Okay. I'm going to put the textile glue completely on this. 
and not just where the fabric is because the glue is fine also for paper so it will be okay and because it's also a wet glue i can uh, really put the glue in the in the valleys of the embossing paper and when it's completely dry i'm going to curl that up a bit it won't stay of course because it's going to flap like that and here when everything is dry i'll Hmm. That's not really working the way I thought it would. <laughs> hmm. no. I have to practice that a bit. Let's see. And I, no, I don't remember what I wanted to do with this. Maybe I don't have a world that I can put here. Let's see. Not the green. I always like these. I always find beautiful because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's see if I want that there. With just a bit of cheesecloth. This side is already a bit more. Like that, and I can crumble it a bit and I feel that my fingers are all gluey. I'm just going to glue it on here and then I'll decide if I uh, if I really want it because I can always use the word on the cheesecloth or somewhere somewhere else if I don't like it now. Oops. That. I can ooh, curl it up a bit, make the little folds like that. Oh yes, I do. Really like that. Let's see where the little sentiment is. And um, because we uh, we always go camping and uh, with the trailer tent, we always like to uh, look for organizing, yeah, easy organizing ideas. And uh, I had an idea I still had to make with, uh, yeah, like a large panel with all kinds of uh, pockets on there to stuff all kinds of things in and uh, that's what I've been making uh, last week so next week when we uh, are getting the trailer tent from the storage uh, I'm really anxious to see how it looks if it uh, really fits if I measured correctly last year and I want some bling on the butterflies and then I think I'm done. Maybe I could decide to put another tag in there, but for now I'm going to leave it. Um, put this up to the side so I can see better. It looks more beautiful. This is too big. Let's see them. No. Here are very small ones, and they're one flew already. Forgot my tweezers. Let's see. My craft knife that works also. And let's see if I want one or two. Oh, two of oh they're all falling off. Then I'm going to use those two. 
I'm going to put the two there. I think that will be okay. Yes, it will be okay. Yeah, it makes it a lot of bulk if I put it there. I think I will put some there. And I'm just going to cut because this is all attached. So I take two off. I'm just putting the glue here. And then I can put two at the same time. Yeah. And that's it. It was a quick make today. I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration of it. Because sometimes it's just that easy to make a beautiful, uh, a beautiful page. Just a nice decoration, uh, a digital or from a magazine, a page you really like. You make it into a pocket or a tuck spot. And you can put ephemera in there. And most of us also have a ready-made ephemera, yeah, because there are sometimes yeah, you just uh, feel like making ephemera, and that's okay. And now you've got a beautiful spot to put it in. Yeah, here the butterfly will disappear also, but I like it more here. But I'm going to leave it out now, because I want to uh, let it dry properly. Yeah really like it. Yeah, I didn't want to have it sticking under there. Yeah, really like that idea. This will be on top, then that will be peeking out. Yes, love it. And this closes, and then that is peeking out, and I have more than enough room for my journaling. Put it like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel that way. If you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe, give a like or a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Have a great vacation if it's coming up. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye.